Here's what I got done today. You know, the, the blanket back there looks like a giant enchilada. I kind of like it. I prefer it. And well, hello there, everyone. And it's a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. And it's the first day of spring. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some, some work on the van. Uh, weather's pretty good. It's going to be 17 today, so it's going to it's going to be perfect working weather. Also, it's going to be great running weather, so I'll probably get a run in today as well. Maybe get a nice trail run. But aside from that, today I'm going to be working on the uh, the fuse box area where the wires were all over the place. And I'm probably just going to make a facade because right now everything is fused properly. Everything is away from each other and it is protected there i have a looming for the main cords that's coming from the battery it's just it just looks very unwieldy and untidy so i'm going to show that to you right now and here's that monstrosity and you know if it looks untidy now i actually cleaned up it, it looked a lot worse one of the things i need to deal with is this part here i originally started um sorry this one here okay this uh this light these LED lights. I originally started installing them, but then I, this sort of caught my eye and I I kind of like it. I prefer it. And there's a part of me that wants to still install it, but I I just don't have the the time at this point. I've, I've got a limited amount of time that I can work in this area. So I'm going to be working on it. So what I'm going to place here is probably some kind of just a facade to protect it from any type of maybe water spilling, even though I haven't had anything like that happen. I'm pretty careful about that stuff, but you know, just in case. And the other thing is this one here, this pure sine wave 300 watt inverter that I use for my laptop. I need to put some kind of casing and maybe there might be some opportunity where I can also uh, create some, some more storage space as well. So it's a tiny, tiny, tiny um, build, tiny van. And there's my kitchenette. And at this point, I'm just trying to maximize it as much as possible. But one of the things I already did initially is this one here. This was actually jutting out, sticking out. Uh, if you notice, this build is built based on whatever material I have available. So everything is sort of like one giant Jenga block and I just cut and pack on uh, when I need it and uh, that's that goes for this as well this sort of top shelf that I created um, Certain parts here. I you know, whatever scrap piece of what I had I made something with it. this one here Originally would hit this part, but now it doesn't so I can actually pick up this table go like that and It's you see it right there, but you know, it's not gonna lose sleep over it You know, it works pretty good and I have myself a little table okay so i've got that happening there so I, I i just fixed that right now and the first thing i do when i do these things is i just like to take measurements for example i'll just take this block of wood and already just by placing it there it's already starting to look better but i also need to be able to access the fuse box so i need to figure out a way so that when i do place the facade when i build up the facade uh, the cover well fuse box cover that it isn't going to abstract anything and I'll still be able to access it. But for now, I just want to make this area look a bit tidier. And you know, and also bring out the potential of some additional storage as well. For example, near the top over there. Okay guys, so I've been working on this for <laughs> almost two hours. And you know, when you think you're gonna do something and you have this these big plans and they kind of don't turn out exactly the way you want it to. Well, something similar kind of happened, but you know, this is actually looking pretty good. What I did was I added some hinges so I can open it up and, you know, take a look at the back there. And so far, this is where it's at right now. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I discovered I could probably add some storage up there. So it's taking shape. And one thing I am really discovering as I'm working on this, minivan, camper van, van build is that uh, I kind of have to sort of improvise and sort of build as I go along. And one of the things that makes it difficult is this kind of stuff. The materials I'm using, uh, face it, man, it's, it's, it's cheap plywood. It's not, even, I wouldn't even consider plywood. It's, 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 um, 
It's from Skids. I picked it up from a guy from Facebook. Uh, he was selling it for like five bucks for a, I think it was like 44 feet by four feet, 48 by 48. And you know, it's, it's doing what I needed to do. But I know at some point, if I were to do the big build, I would I would spend the money for plywood, which since COVID, since last year has doubled in price almost. So, but so far I'm pretty happy with how it's working out. It is a budget build and it's something that I think anybody could really do. And it's slowly starting to come together. And as I'm working on this, I'm seeing lots of possibilities here and there. You notice at the side there, I sort of had to cut out an area for this bar. Um, a lot of this is retrofitting, so retrofitting this thing here, but it is looking a little neater, so that's always nice. But guess what? I added this little hinge there. You probably saw it earlier, but then I can open it up and then I can sort of access my fuse box and everything, and I cleaned it up a bit more. But one of the things that I noticed close that off there we go gonna have to fix that is behind here there's a lot of space so I'm probably going to take that out and see if I can extend out that this this thing here out a bit more so that I get more storage space uh, the problem is I'm running out of this cheap plywood so I'm going to see if I can get some more plywood if I can find some somewhere else anyway that's where we are right now Hey guys, so here it is. Here's what I got done today. And what I did here was I covered up the the electrical and created this sort of facade. And along the way, I thought, hey, you know what? I'll add a shelf. I had this top shelf that I created a couple of weeks ago. And then I thought, I'll add another shelf. And then hence, I have more storage. It does look a little neater. You can already tell like the one on this side over here, just in the center of the screen there, you can see some of the wires. And it's kind of nice to cover that up. And you know what, guys? The lights that I put up, I really like how they look. And there's a few more things I want to do. But so far, it's starting to take shape. Everything is uh, created using free, found, near-free, gifted materials. For example, this particular wood. Actually, even take a look at this one here. You'll notice that it's not the highest quality it's actually uh, wood it's a uh, plywood that I picked up from a guy at via Facebook and he got him from a warehouse and I know that there's a ton out there and I didn't use pallet wood there are some parts here that is from pallet wood but it just takes so long to actually get that stuff and and work with it and take the nails out so I got this plywood and it was like $5 a sheet for like a, I think it was like 42 by 42 or four feet by four feet. I can't remember, but I was able to cut it down. And again, if you look at it, if you look really closely, it isn't the highest quality, but you know what? It's doing what I need it to do. So that's what it looks like so far. Hope you guys like it. and well hello there everyone and this is an updated view of my current build and something you probably noticed if you were looking at this about eight months ago is i added this sort of side bed thing so all it really is it's like a really short table with a, a three and a half inch four inch like mattress kind of thing right and what it does is I could lie from here, lie down from here all the way to the back over there. Now I've maintained the back portion of this van build. And so I can also, I guess that was that's where my old bit was, right in the center of the camera where my book is. And I've got sort of like that, uh, that really comfy, comfy blanket I had from before. And if you take a look here, you'll notice that I added a top shelf. And I also covered up the fuse box right in the middle there. It's got, you can see where the, the hinge is, just to the right of that notebook and to the left of that, the the, the Road Pro thing, the, 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 the little oven heater warmer thing. Gee, I really need to get my, <laughs> my terminology in place. And one day I will, honest. And I also added these lights here and they seem to have added a bit of an ambiance to it. So this is my current build. Uh, it's tiny, tiny space, but it's, I'm surprised how comfortable I am in it. 
Granted, I don't have, I'm not, I'm not tall. I don't have like tall people problems when it comes to this. So anyway, so that's my current build right now. And I'm, I'm quite happy with it. And if you want more details, let me know. I could do more videos. But at this point, this is sort of like a quick video of it. You know, the, the blanket back there looks like a giant enchilada. Now I'm hungry.